Mind your decisions, I'm Presh Talwalker. Simplify the following sum of three fractions. The first fraction is equal to 1 divided by 1 plus log base A of the product BC. The second fraction is 1 divided by 1 plus log base B of the product AC. And the third fraction is 1 divided by 1 plus log base C of the product AB. A, B, and C are greater than 0, but none of them is equal to 1. I thank Rugved for the suggestion. Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. Recall the change of base formula. Log base b of u is equal to log base a of u divided by log base a of b. This is for numbers that are greater than 0, and the bases a and b are not equal to 1. Suppose a is equal to the constant e. The logarithm then becomes the natural logarithm, and that's the form of the formula I'll use in the video. Recall the product rule of logarithms. Log base b of the product xy is equal to log base b of x plus log base b of y. All of the numbers are greater than 0, and the base b is not equal to 1. Let's now tackle the original problem. We'll use the change of base formula on each of the logarithms. The first logarithm transforms into the natural log of the product BC divided by the natural log of A. The second will transform into the natural log of the product AC divided by the natural log of B. The third logarithm will become the natural log of the product AB divided by the natural log of C. We will now simplify each of these fractions. For the first term, we'll multiply it by the natural log of A divided by the natural log of a. The numerator becomes the natural log of a, and the denominator becomes the natural log of a plus the natural log of the product bc. We'll do a similar thing for the second fraction. We'll multiply it by the natural log of b divided by the natural log of b. The numerator becomes the natural log of b, and the denominator becomes the natural log of b plus the natural log of the product ac. The third term will multiply by the natural log of c divided by the natural log of c. The numerator becomes the natural log of c, and the denominator becomes the natural log of c plus the natural log of the product ab. We will now look at this denominator and we'll use the product rule. We have a sum which we will convert into the product. The natural log of a plus the natural log of the product bc will be equal to the natural log of abc. We do the same thing in the second fraction. The natural log of b plus the natural log of the product ac will be equal to the natural log of the product abc. In the third fraction, we have the natural log of c plus the natural log of the product ab, and this will become the natural log of the product abc. Now, each of these three fractions have the same denominator, the natural log of the product abc. Thus, we can sum them and sum the numerators. It becomes the natural log of A plus the natural log of B plus the natural log of C all over the natural log of the product ABC. We then use the product rule one more time. The natural log of A plus the natural log of B plus the natural log of C is equal to the natural log of the product ABC. And this simplifies because we have the natural log of the product ABC over the natural log of the product ABC, and that's equal to 1. And that's our answer. What a neat problem involving logarithms. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you soon on Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems one video at a time.